Hey everyone, this is Sam over at the Foot Whisperer Reflexology Institute here today with another foot reading video for you, but it's a little bit different because we have not just feet, but also an ear to read. Absolutely fascinating. So as a reminder, if you would like to be a part of this video series, please feel free to send your foot pictures to sam at footwhisperer.com. That is my email. I'll also tell you what I think before we throw it on the video. You can always send them to me anonymously as well. And make sure to join our foot reading and reflexology online community group on Facebook. But just as a kind of second reminder, these videos are not meant to DPT, diagnose, prescribe, or treat. Instead, we are only trying to ACE or assess, coach, and educate. And without further ado, let's get to reading some feet and an ear. Alrighty, everyone. So let's take a peek at our first picture. And this picture was submitted by Liet uh, from NMF Clinic on Instagram. I really appreciate her sharing this story with me, and it was just so good. I had to throw it into a foot reading video. Um, obviously, the marker here is so dramatic, a big old peel that's happening on the plantar surface of the heel. Hey, that rhymed. Um, but super significant. Also, I'll tell you this story in a minute, but we can see that the heel, which represents horizontal zone five, everything in the lower body, as far as reflex zones, also someone's sense of security and how they're moving forward. Um, this is the right foot, so it is more of a past context and kind of shedding past sense of security and moving forward, but it is definitely right side of the body oriented as well, because all the reflexes are right to right, left to left. So this shedding, whenever we see a shedding, this is technically an air marker or a marker of circulation and change, uh, this would be a both physical and internal shedding of energy. That means that there would be massive cell turnover in the lower body reflexes on this right side, also kind of that shedding or sloughing off of all of those sense of security issues from the past. So what's interesting is that Liat relayed that she was working with this individual who had severe endometriosis and right leg edema, um, but this happened a couple sessions into her working with this individual. So total affirmation that the reflex work that Liette was doing was producing massive turnover, changing and shifting in this person's body on all levels. Such a fascinating story. Thank you so much for submitting this picture. I love, love, love it. And a great story to share with the rest of the world uh, as well. So moving on to our second picture, that was one marker. We have this one, which will also be one marker. Then our last picture will be a series of three like we do normally. But these two stories were just so good, I could not uh, not share them. So here we have a big old callus right in the center of horizontal zone two in the ball of the left foot. So left foot being more of the present context, also left side of the body. When we see callusing, callusing as opposed to shedding, callusing would be an earth marker, something that indicates density, rigidity or tightness and growth, extracellular growth. So this marker being centered in horizontal zone two, the seat of the emotions, also the chest lung, would indicate a rigidity, a hardness, and kind of a protective nature of these reflexes. Physically, this would manifest as shoulder or lung congestion. We can even see a lot of yellowing around the callus, indicating kind of deep-seated, maybe stagnant lung or mucus congestion, um, but also kind of stagnation in the lymphatic ducts on that left side. Emotionally, this is a very significant marker because it does indicate a hardness or a protective kind of covering over the individual's heart in question. But this is where we really get to have some fun because this marker is underneath the third toe, which represents vertical zone three, the influence of the upper digestive system and also influence of career and actions. So we can then surmise that the upper digestive pressure or blood sugar or any of the other corresponding organ structures, organ reflex structures in horizontal zone three are influencing the stagnation and hardness to be present in the chest, lung, shoulder, breast area on this uh, side of the body. Internally, 
emotions have started to harden or become rigid because of the influence of career and actions as a stressor. Here's the story. So this individual actually six years ago left a job to pursue their passion, and that is exactly when the callus started to form. So the transition of previous careers and kind of finding this individual's freedom for themselves created this manifest marker. However, when we think of something like a freedom or a letting go of a previous job, we think of openness, not necessarily hardness and callousing. So the coaching and the dynamic for this marker would definitely be why did the body manifest a hardness over the heart when it should have been a freedom or a new expansiveness that developed. And that's where something like a foot reading coaching session would come in to kind of dialogue between what happened at that time of the marker forming and why the marker is still technically still around when freedom should have been the result, not rigidity and hardness. Very, very interesting. Okay. Now we move on to our series of three, and this is not a foot, as you can see. This is actually an ear, but the story and markers in this ear are way too good to pass up. So a little bit of a non-traditional foot reading video, uh, but a lot of the zones still apply for the ear. In fact, all of them do. We're just looking at a different surface. So. For those of you who aren't familiar with ear anatomy, we'll be throwing a little bit of that in, but let's get into the first marker of the ear. So here we see this massive clump of darkened red tissue. Anytime we see this level of tissue stagnation, there's a lot of heat indicated by the redness, but there's also a lot of stagnation. You can almost see the percolating of the veins in that ear. This is actually in line with horizontal zone two of the ear. You can see the triangular notch on the inside of the ear, just on the inside of the helix. Everything in line with that triangular fossa, that triangular notch, represents that horizontal zone two, the chest lung area. So this would be severe congestion in the chest as well as the lungs. Definitely a marker to watch out for. I see this a lot uh, when people have chronic lung infections, but also it could be present with just a lot of emotional tension as well, okay? Moving on to marker number two, we've seen a lot of lower back deviations in the feet, but here's a perfect textbook example of a lower back reflex deviation in the ear. You can see on the outside of that ridge of the helix, right as we get into that auditory canal, that cavum concha space on the outside, we have that really sharp crease as if somebody kind of folded the ear in on itself and pinched it off. And that's exactly what's happening in the reflexes on that left side is the lower back reflexes have started to pinch, have started to pressurize, have started to really kind of cut off circulation almost and that is that marker. But we're building context here, and the story is absolutely perfect as we kind of build a case for a holistic picture of this ear, because now we get into this third marker of we see the bulging in the earlobe, and then we also see how scrunched the cavum concha is, that lower auditory opening of the ear. So what's happening is this pinching of the low back reflexes and the swelling of the lower body is starting to pressurize and kind of close off because of that pressure everything in the pelvic and lower digestive space. So interesting to see this almost kind of live as we look at the ear. You can imagine how the lower back nerves have kind of shut down and pressurized, which is causing the backup, backup of fluid and pressure to build in the lower body, which is then pressing up into that lower pelvic space, and then factoring in the congestion and the redness that's in that horizontal zone two space, we can see that it seems like that pressure, that coagulation, that deep inflammation is actually being caused by the impingement that's happening in the lower body reflexes. So the story here is just so fantastic fantastic in terms of how the different aspects of the ear are building. You really just can't make this up. From a reflex standpoint, we see that there is just so much that's happening in this ear. 
So to give you a little bit of background on this ear, there were two emergency room visits because of heart palpitations. Apparently blood pressure was sky high, but there was also a lot of lower back pain that had subsided. And also the physicians couldn't say that there was anything wrong and that they think that it's anxiety. And that's the perfect, perfect, perfect example of what's happening. Also, diverticulitis was thrown around in the symptomology kind of feedback. You can see the full post on our Instagram as well. But you can see how that diagnosis would be given, that skyrocketing blood pressure, impingement in the low back, and then the diverticulitis. It's all a pressure game with this, with the reflexes in this ear. And this is a excellent example of how I would kind of piece together a story from a reflex perspective, regardless of where the reflexes are. Sometimes the ears are more vocal than the face. Sometimes the face is more vocal than the hands. Sometimes the hands are more vocal than the feet. Using a broad range spectrum, but knowing your zones is part of the foot reading process, even if you're not using the feet. So those are some action-packed photos with some great stories. Continue to send me your pictures and I will feature them in the videos as well as I will tell you what I think privately via email. You can also join our reflexology group, the Foot Reading and Reflexology Online Community, also known as Frock on Facebook to get insider information and also post your own pictures if you'd like feedback and like to throw it out to a group of foot reading and reflexology enthusiasts. But until now, we will have you like, share, and subscribe the video if you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more from the Foot Whisperer Reflexology Institute.